take a look of this pizza. This is one of the best pizza I ever made in my life. It's soft and crunchy in the same time. You wanna kiss her? Yes, that's the name of this pizza. The Kisses Pizza. Because the pizza will be one on top of the other. It's like uh, there is getting kiss each other. Welcome back from my Zoe Tocopelli and watch until the end because this is one of the best recipes I ever made on my YouTube channel. Go ahead, smash the like, share this video and make sure to watch until the end because it's super important. Thank you so much for being here with me and enjoy this recipe. Pizza baciata, the kisses pizza. Mwah! Like you can see, like you saw already, this is one of the most lovely pizza kisses. That's why. So let's get inside the recipe. This is what you need to make this pizza like this fragrant, crunchy in the same time. Soft and crunchy in the same time. <laughs> Let me tell you right now the recipe that we need. The all Polish. One kilo and 200 grams of flour, zero, zero. 200 grams of rice flour to make it crunchy. And 400 grams of Manitoba flour to make the pizza more hydrated as possible. So if you wanna use a high hydration dough to make the pizza much more fragrant and soft and light and crunchy, you need to use a Manitoba. So then we need 60 grams of salt, 30 grams for each liter of water. And then we're gonna add five grams of dry yeast, only for this pizza. And of course, we need one liter of water, super cold. Like you can see here, we have ice. So let's go ahead and let's put only half a liter of water. Try to not get the chunk of ice, otherwise it's not gonna melt it. I'm gonna use, of course, like I say, one liter of water total. So we're gonna use first half amount of water. So let's go ahead, let's start this recipe. We're gonna put uh, the old Polish in the mixer. Here we go. Then pay attention here. Together with the Polish, we're gonna add half a liter of water. So then we add the five grams of yeast. Let's go ahead, speed number one. So now we're just gonna wait that the water gets melted like uh, the color of the milk. Okay, at this point, let's go ahead and let's grab 500 milliliters again. Watch this, it's very important. We add the, the 60 grams inside the cold water. Melt the salt in the water. So let's keep the half amount of the water for later on. So now let's go ahead and let's add the old flour, the zero zero flour. Then we add the Manitoba. And then we add the rice flour. Okay, now let's go ahead, speed number one, otherwise you're gonna make a mess. And uh, let's wait that everything gets incorporated. So about, uh, I wanna say maybe five minutes with this amount of uh, flour. And of course, if you wanna make this recipe for uh, less pizzas, we are using 50% of Polish, but if you wanna use less, you can. So just decrease. But remember, the less Polish, the more time will grow, uh, needs to grow. So, and then you can, uh, decrease the whole amount. The same, everything you can decrease all of this, but keep in mind always the recipe for the Polish needs to be the same. Now let's wait about three minutes. Now we can go ahead and add this amount of water, little by little, and at the same time, go ahead and speed up the machine at number, I wanna say number five. So in the same time, we're gonna go ahead and add the water, little by little. So you have to wait that the water gets integrated all the time. So you put water and then you wait, the dough absorbs that water, we go ahead and we put more. So you have to do the same thing until you finish the, this water and the dough is ready. So it's gonna take about, uh, I wanna say with this amount of water, probably eight minutes. Okay guys, the water finish up and uh, done. The water is finished. Now let's prepare the counter. So we're gonna put a little bit of uh, olive oil on top of the counter. Now, use both hands this way, you get olive oil in your hands too. You know, massage your hands, you know what I'm saying? Done. So now we're gonna wait just a few seconds that the water gets all together nice and smooth. I wanna say everything is integrated right now. So we're gonna count one, two, one, two, three. The dough, it's ready, voila. It feels so good. 
Ooh, look at the structure of the gluten. Ew, that's what I'm talking about. This is what we are talking about. So let's go ahead, let's place the dough on top of the counter. I'm gonna take it out, all of that. It's really strong, but make sure, don't pull it out all together. You wanna go ahead, put it, get a piece, and then go ahead and cut, and put it next to the other one. You cannot build the gluten this way, like this strong, without a dough mixer like this. Guys, I have to say, the gluten, it, be, it was built super properly. So now, if you have uh, sticky hands, again, a little bit of uh, olive oil in your, in your hands, move the authentic mixer right there. Now let's grab the dough, and uh, we wanna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna flip it over inside. One shot, upside down. Now let's go ahead and let's work the dough like that. Make sure you make a circle. So look at this, how much hair is inside. That's what we are talking about. We, at this point, we have built the gluten super properly and it's not sticking in your hands. Voila, make sure you close it, done. So at this point, we let it rest for about uh, 30 minutes at room temperature. So let's go ahead, again, a little bit of uh, olive oil on top. Massage a little bit. Wow, I love this part. And now let it put to sleep for about 30 minutes. One moment, don't leave it at room temp, uh, don't leave it open. Go ahead and uh, <laughs> protect your dough. Put plastic wrap on top or just put a bowl or something. 30 minutes is passed by and now let's grab a container and le let's make the dough. So guys, we are, we're gonna make a little bit different the dough. So I wanna make the pizza a little bit long and nice and big. So we're gonna make the balls about 350 grams each. So let's go ahead, and this is how we make the dough balls. Olive oil in your hands, always. And now let's go ahead, let's grab a, a spatula. Spatula, the most important tools. Let's go ahead and let's cut the dough this way. It's very important how you make the balls. So cut a little piece, put it right here, and now cut a little bit bigger, and we're gonna make a 350 grams each. If you have extra, put it under. Grab the ball this way. Keep in mind, this part needs to stay always on top. Flip it over, and now we wanna close the dough like a balloon until it's nice and tight. Like that, but this is the best way, look at this. You can put it on the top of the counter, you can work the dough, flip it over, flip it over, and this is how you make the dough balls. So now let's go ahead and let's wait over there. This way rest a little bit. Now let's go ahead and let's do the rest of the balls. Can go on top of the counter. See how easy it was that? Just wanna make sure that it goes back on top. If you wanna make this pizza even better than it already is, put a little bit of olive oil in a container like that. Grab as much dough that you want. In this case, we're gonna grab this much. Make a ball. Watch this because this is interesting. Make a ball like that, and then put it on top of the, in a container. Go ahead, make sure you seal this really properly. And you can put this in the fridge for 16 to 24 hours, and you'll be surprised of the next day dough. But this is a little bit more complicated. We're gonna go ahead and do the simple stuff. So let's go ahead and let's finish up to make the balls. Now that we made all the balls, Let's go ahead and let's make it more tight this way without putting too much olive oil. Otherwise, it's done. we want to have the dough perfectly closed. It's very important to save all the air inside and put it all inside a container like this. Make sure they are all separate. Now let's go ahead and let's put a little bit of semolina on top. This way they don't get stuck all together. And we're gonna go ahead, put a container on top and let it rest for one hour. And they will be one hour to one hour and a half, depends, two hours, depends on the room temperature. The more it's cold, the more time it needs. So let's go ahead and let's wait an hour in this case. Ah, 
after we prepare all the ingredients, one hour is passed by, and now we go ahead and do one more step. Put the flour, a little bit of flour. Eh? Now grab the dough, like you can see, double up the side. Of course, this one, uh, we, we switch the two containers, the rest of the balls are right here, like you can see, but because this is, I'm gonna do another video, so uh, I'll save it, I'll save it for later on today. So let's go ahead, now we're gonna go ahead and reball it. So gently, you're just gonna go ahead and flip it over. You don't wanna tie it too much. So make sure to close it. If it's sticky, just use a little bit of, of flour and put it back in the container. Keep in mind, always keep the top part on top. So we are gonna fold it inside, 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 and then you turn it and keep the top part on top. And put it back in the same spot. So now we wanna wait a little bit of semolina on top. Now we wanna wait about 40 minutes at room temperature. 30, 40 minutes, one hour, depends. It needs to double up the side and finally it's ready. And here we go guys, after one hour, this is the dough. Double up the side. So the secret of this dough is the less we touch, the better. So let's go ahead and let's grab semolina as much that you can, flour on top, flour on top. And now let's go ahead and let's grab the first dough ball. Now let's grab the other one. And let's flip it over right there. More flour on top. Now pay attention how I stretch this dough. So flip it over because that's the secret of this pizza is uh, how you stretch. So try to make a flour like a, a like exactly same level of flour. Now land the pizza on top of the flour and gently you just want to press. Now that we, uh, we press it a little bit, go ahead one end here, take off all the flour, move everything, like move the flour, and then put it upside down. So the top part in this case goes down. And this is the dough. So we do the same thing with this. So you wanna keep the air inside, like you can see there. Now let's go ahead, lift it up a couple of times, move the flour, and upside down on top of the counter. And we wanna have the rectangle shape. Put a little bit of uh, olive oil on top. Try to spread the olive oil evenly on top of the dough. Now what I like to do for this pizza is to add a little bit of uh, mixed seeds like those just everywhere like that. You wanna cook this pizza at uh, lower temperature. So in this case, uh, 280 Celsius. So it's perfect for home cook. So now what we wanna do here is uh, we wanna put the right side or the left side on top and we wanna close it like a sandwich. But make sure we close it without pressing and we wanna keep it exactly at the same uh, level. Voila. Now again, olive oil. On top, we put a, a pinch of salt, and now we can go ahead <coughs> and cook the pizza at 280 Celsius. Let's go ahead and let's par bake the pizza. We want to par bake the pizza until it's a gold color, and then we are going to add something, the magic. Okay, the pizza is a gold color. Let's go ahead and take it out. Ooh, wow! This is the texture that we want for this pizza. So one, two. Ooh, take a look. The texture, the smell is insane. The texture of this pizza, look, look how, how, uh, how the pizza holds. It's insane. It's soft, it's crunchy. Wow. So let's go ahead now and uh, let's uh, make the pizza. We want to put a little bit of uh, fresh mozzarella on the bottom. Not too much, just lightly. Then we want to cover the pizza with uh, coppata. In this case, or you can put whatever you want, but please don't put pineapple. Let's go ahead and let's put some uh, mix of uh, cherry tomato yellow and cherry tomato red. Now let's go ahead and let's put uh, the stracciatella. Stracciatella is the stuff that is inside the burrata. And then go ahead and place again the dough on top. So now let's go ahead and let's finish up to cook this beast. Okay, the moment of the truth, guys. The pizza, it's lovely. Ooh, ready? I can feel the soft and crunchy at the same time. That's it. Shh. Wow. I mean, look at this. Shh. Insane. It breaks really quick. Now, again, more olive oil to give a nice color. 
Woo! That's hot. I present you to you the Kisses Pizza, the pizza bachata. Wow, take a look. Here we go, guys. Let's cut this beast. Let's get the audio down there and let's do it. Ooh. Let's remove this. I don't need it. Ready? Take a look. Insane texture. Let's see the bottom of the pizza. Let's cut a little piece. I want to hear the crunch before everything. Shh. I mean, take a look how, how gentle is the the cut here. Look at this. Uh, the, the bite. Look at this. Juicy, crunchy, perfect cook. Guys, make sure you do this again at your house and Tag me on Instagram. Hear this. I don't know what to say. I cannot describe the love for this pizza. The full recipe is in description. Make it at your house. I promise this is the insane. And then tag me on Instagram. I'll see you soon, guys, every week with new video. I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this beast. Ciao.